I'm Anil Kumar and in this particular video we'll take a few examples of quadratic trigonometric equations to solve and we'll find their solutions where x is between 0 to 2 pi. So let me take examples like 2 cos square x minus 1 equals to 0 and then we can work on 4 cos to the power of 4x minus 3 equals to 0. So we have taken both cosine functions and we will take up sine function also once we solve them. Okay, so let's solve these equations and find all the solutions which they satisfy within the domain 0 to 2 pi. So the first one we can rearrange so we get 2 cos square x equals to 1 or cos square x equals to half or we can write cos x is equals to when you square root it you have to write plus and minus that is kind of important square root of 1 over half which is same as plus minus 1 over square root 2 so that is the solution that means we are looking for both positive and negative values for cos x being 1 over square root 2 in the domain 0 to 2 pi now cos is positive let's make our coordinate plane here as we know cos is positive in quadrant 4 and in quadrant 1 it is negative in 2 and 3 since we are looking for both values so we are expecting 4 answers for this particular question let's find the acute angle for which cos x is 1 over square root 2 you can always use your special triangle which is pi by 4 so in pi by 4 triangle as you know sides are 1 1 and hypotenuse is square root 2 so for pi by 4 cos x is going to be 1 over square root 2 right so that means the four solutions are when the terminal arm is making an angle of pi by 4 with the horizontal or the reference angle in each case is pi by 4 in that case what are these angles so we can write straight away the solutions x is equals to pi by 4 then we have 2 3 pi by 4 4 5 pi by 4 and 7 pi by 4 so these are the four solutions for which 2 cos square x minus 1 is equals to 0 at times that is the solution at times what you can also do here is that you can factor this as difference of squares so in that case you could write this equation as square root 2 cos x plus 1 times square root 2 cos x minus 1 equals to 0 and then equate each factor to 0 and find your solution so you get the same same answer right so this question could also be asked in this particular fashion that is what I want to emphasize here now let's look into the second example the second example I have purposely taken we'll use calculator to solve this one now we have cos to the power of 4x equals to we can rearrange and we say 4 cos to the power of 4x is equals to 3 so cos to the power of 4x equals to 3 over 4 now what is cos x equals to that is the fourth root of 3 over 4 so even the fourth root when we consider we are considering positive and negative solutions right so let us find what that value is and first we will find the acute angle so we will say cos of alpha equals to fourth root of 3 by 4 correct so, so let's find alpha first so we say alpha is equals to cos inverse of fourth root of 3 by 4 correct so you can use the calculator we say second function cos inverse and within brackets we want to write the fourth root so we'll use this is fourth root we'll write 4 here and within the brackets we have a fraction 3 over 4 so that gives us 3 divided by 4 right 
now we can close this bracket equal to so that gives you the answer in decimals so what we get here is 0 0.3747 so that is the value of alpha since we are looking now for four different solutions so our value for x is equals to first the same value let me write down solutions here so why we have four solutions because we are looking for plus and minus right so we are looking for four solutions where the acute angle is given to us right so let me just draw one like this okay in this case what is known to us is the related acute angle which is 0 0.3747 okay fine so the four solutions are x is equals to 1 the same acute angle 0 0.3747 the other one will be pi minus that, right? So pi minus 0 0.3747. And then we have pi plus 0 0.3747, I mean. And then we have 2 pi minus 0 0.3747. All these values are our solutions, okay? So let's do it. So we have, we can also use pi as 3.14, right? Anyway, so it is pi minus 0.3747 equals to let me write down all the solutions on the side so this is equals to two point i'm rounding them to two decimal places in radians and then we have pi plus 0.3747 equals to 3.52 and then we have two times pi minus 0.3747 equals to 5.9 so these are the four solutions for the given question right so that is how you should be solving such questions so if even if the higher power are there if it is even then we have to consider both negative and positive however if it is cubic then then you know negative square root will be negative and positive square root will be positive right so that is what you need to consider when you find the solutions for such equations i hope that helps as a practice you can do these examples one is 10 square x is equals to 1 then you can do sine square x is equal to let us say 1 over 3 right so solve these equations and remember the domain for you is from 0 to 2 pi. Thank you and all the best.